For what purpose does the gentlelady from Minnesota uh, rise? Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to commemorate a sacred memory in our nation's history. It was 67 years ago today when a terrible event occurred, and a brilliant event occurred. It was 67 years ago, February 3rd, 1943. We now call this memory the Four Chaplains Day and honor this day in our nation's memory because of the valor and because of the strength that was exhibited by four members of our armed services, four chaplains. It was the, United, the USAT Dorchester. The ship was a coastal liner converted to a U.S. Army troop transport for World War II, and it was with more than 900 men on board. It was a freezing night when the Dorchester, one of three ships in a convoy, was torpedoed. It was freezing, and it was about 1 o'clock in the morning when a terrifying shot was fired by a Nazi submarine 100 miles off the frigid coast of Greenland, and the ship quickly began to sink in the cold, cold waters. Many Americans were killed by the explosion. Others were trapped below deck. As everyone started to panic, the four chaplains on board remained calm. They quickly passed out life vests to the young troops on board. They helped the wounded. They prayed with the troops that were on board. But then, tragically, when all the life vests had been distributed, there were more men than life vests. And the four chaplains, without skipping a beat, removed their own life vests that they had on their body, and they handed them to the young troops who had none. And as the ship went down, the four chaplains linked arms. And witnesses said they saw the chaplains as young soldiers fighting against the cold, swimming in the water. They saw the four chaplains who had linked arms, who, who embraced each other in a circle in the waters. They prayed for the troops who lost their lives and for those who would survive. And they prayed until the chaplains were no more. The four chaplains were a Catholic, two Protestants, and a Jewish rabbi. Their names were Father John Washington, Catholic, Reverend Clark Poling, Dutch Reformed, Rabbi Alexander Good, Jewish, Reverend George Fox, a Methodist. These four chaplains gave more than their spiritual guidance to the troops. They gave their lives on February 3rd, 1943. It was a decade later that President Dwight Eisenhower remarked, he said, and I quote, and we remember that only a decade ago aboard the transport Dorchester, four chaplains of four faiths together willingly sacrificed their lives so that four other Americans might live. In the three centuries that separate the pilgrims of the Mayflower from the chaplains of the Dorchester, America's freedom, her courage, her strength, and her progress have had their foundation in faith. Eisenhower concluded, Today as then, there is need for positive acts of renewed recognition that faith is our surest strength, our greatest resource. And in 1960, Mr. Speaker, Congress created a special Congressional Medal of Valor, never to be repeated again, and gave it to the next of kin, of the infamous, immortal four chaplains. The Distinguished Service Cross, the Purple Heart, were awarded posthumously in 1944. May the greatest example of this greatest love, fulfilling scripture that says, greater love hath no man than this, but that he lay down his life for his friend. May this chamber, Mr. Speaker, this Congress, and the American people never forget the sacrifice of the four great chaplains. And may God forever bless and extend to them his peace for their memory. And I yield back. The gentlelady yields back her time. Under the Speaker's announced policy of January the 6th, 2000.